guys, welcome back to WDYDCSP with the You Do the Central Stove Process. Alright, so you finished assembling the tray. Good job. But you ain't done yet. Next you have to figure out what container system are you going to use or what uh, barrier system you will be utilizing to um, sterilize your tray. So first you want to find out, are you doing a free vacuum sterilization cycle are you doing a gravity sterilization cycle or a low temperature whatever that may be in this instance we are doing a pre vacuum cycle and this is the container we'll be using all right so let's get to it first you need to see is your container system a top perforated and bottom or just top in this example we just have a top perforated okay we want to inspect our basket for cleanliness so look inside make sure your basket is nice and clean okay. don't be afraid to run your hands down there because okay. sometimes dust can blend in all right next you want to look at the outer edge of your basket are there any sharp edges or any unusual bends that's going to interfere with the seal okay we want to go ahead and examine the handles are the handles in place there's two sides right all right we just inspected the base everything looks good now we're going to inspect the lid What does the lid um, come with? Well, you have two retention plates. We'll get to that in a second. We have the actual container um, top. And this is perforated top. Okay, and you want to inspect the latches. Are the latches intact? And believe it or not, this is a spring mechanism. And you want to make sure that it's nice and firm. It shouldn't be very loose. It should be pretty hard to actually manipulate. Both sides here. Alright. Okay. And do the same. Okay, you see that spring action? Yeah, my left hand's stronger than the right. Okay. The retention plates are held down by two little pins located in the center of the perforation. You want to make sure those pins are not loose or spinning. All right. Also, in order to create a barrier, the seal of the lid must meet with the lip of the basket. So there is a gasket that we would inspect for any damages or cracks or bio burden. All right. We're going to go all the way around that edge back for any damages or cracks. Looks good so far. You also want to inspect the edge of the basket for the same thing, with the lid, I'm sorry, for any sharp edges or any bends, abnormal bends. So far so good. Next is our filters. Make sure you're using the correct filters for the correct type of sterilization modality that you're going to use. In this case, again, we're using free vacuum cycles. Again, always inspect your filters. All right, your retention plates. Your retention plates are special as well. They have a gasket that you must inspect for cleanliness and intactness. Are they clean? any cracks. On the opposite side there are two springs. Does they work? Do they work? Next you want to load your retention plate and listen for the click. Okay? That's what you want to listen for. Okay? Does it spin or does it stay in place? If it spins like a DJ plate, it is no good. Alright? You have two of them. You want to do the exact same thing. Okay, cleanliness. Does the spring work? 
Listen for the click. And does it spin? All right. So next, we want to place our basket in the container, our tray in the container. Bear with me for a second. All right. So we have our tray in the container, count sheet in the pill pack, and the label that's going to go on the side. Remember, this is the last time you get to see this tray before the before it's used on the patient. All right. So ensure that your indicators are in the correct position. There are no other foreign objects other than the ones that you put in there um, purposely. All right. And check for any abnormal pieces in there, things that you didn't think went in there. This is your triple check, actually. All right. Final check before we put this seal on. Now, when we place our lid on, you want to ensure that your lid latches lock. All right. One click. Two clicks. What are we looking for? We are looking for an even seal between the lid and the basket all the way around. Okay, when we get to the other side, we want to say the same thing. An even seal and even lock. All the way around the basket. Okay, we're not done yet. Down to the wire. Ensure the proper tamper resistant locks. One side. Sides. If you use lock control sticker tags, ensure that you're placing them in the appropriate slot. All right, let's hang our tags. All right, final check, guys. My lid is on correctly. Tamper resistant lock, tag, proper seal. All the way around, there's two sides here. Okay, proper seal, tamper resistant lock, tag, lock tag, and filters in place. All right guys, we have successfully sealed a medical device to be processed in pre-vacuum steam sterilization all right guys as always stay true to yourselves keep it 100 continue educating yourself until next time peace